Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin has effectively paused the bearish price action after the recent dump, while prices are running into important supports for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. But on top of that, a new pattern is playing out in the short term, which I'll talk about later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, starting off on the four-day Bitcoin chart, and right now, not much has changed on this chart over the last one day. So if you're new to the channel, check out my last one to two videos here on the channel if you want to know more about this chart right here, because essentially, we have not yet invalidated the larger bullish trend, but this bearish divergence is still currently playing out in the somewhat shorter term, which once again is the same as what I said over the last few days. So getting straight into the daily Bitcoin chart, and right now, the price of Bitcoin is technically still looking bearish in terms of the short-term trend, as I've been saying since all the way back up here, because this bearish divergence is still technically active. And on top of that, if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, as of right now, this is also showing some bearish momentum, which is just another indicator pointing towards a short-term bearish trend, which by the way, can contain some even smaller bullish price action, like what we saw just here. But obviously in a bearish trend, we see more bearish price action than bullish price action, which is usually defined as lower highs and lower lows. But right now in the imminent short term, we're at a point within this short term bearish trend where we could possibly see a slight bullish movement, if not potentially some neutral price action as in choppy sideways price action over the coming days. And this is due to a few different reasons. First of all, if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin RSI, once again, even though a bearish divergence is technically still active, the RSI is extremely oversold right now on the daily time frame. And usually when the daily Bitcoin RSI is oversold, that is usually a time where we're at some sort of local low in the price of Bitcoin, because essentially the price has gone too far to the downside too quickly. And we need some time, at least in the imminent short term, to help reset the RSI over the coming days or weeks. And usually that plays out in the form of either choppy sideways price action, like what we saw back here or potentially a slight bullish relief. And so as I've been saying over the last couple of days, ever since we saw that dump to the downsides, once again, we're likely going to see either some choppy sideways price action in the short term, talking about the coming days, if not a slight bullish relief. And once again, the reason why I'm only saying a slight bullish relief, and I do not actually expect a massive bullish movement is simply due to the fact that right now, once again, the bearish divergence is technically still active on the daily time frame, as well as the MACD showing bearish momentum. So once again, technically speaking, in the somewhat shorter term here, we still have bearish price structure. But obviously, in the imminent short term, it is possible to see a bit of a pause from that short term bearish trend. And not to mention that the price of Bitcoin is obviously running into this major area of support that I've been talking about recently on the channel, sitting in between around 24.3k to 25.3k. And on top of that, if you're zooming into the the imminent short term looking at the two hour Bitcoin charts over the last couple of days, we actually have seen a small bullish divergence play out just recently because obviously just after that massive dump to the downside a couple of days ago, we did end up seeing some lower lows confirm in the candle closes in the price action on the two hour charts while also confirming higher lows in the two hour Bitcoin RSI. And so once again, this is technically a bullish divergence which remains active in the imminent short term while while the RSI is trending to the upsides. But as always, it is important to understand the difference between the different timeframes, especially if you're new to crypto. Obviously, this is only on the two hour chart. So we're looking at the much smaller movements. And usually these smaller moves and smaller patterns and signals on the smaller timeframes do not last as long as the larger signals and patterns on the larger timeframes like this bearish divergence on the daily chart, for example. And so once again, this is why I've been saying just in the imminent short term talking about the coming days, we could see a bit of a pause from this bearish trend, which is likely going to play out in the form of either choppy sideways price action, if not a slight bullish relief. But ultimately, as of right now, we are still within a short term bearish trend as a result of this larger bearish divergence, not only on the daily time frame, but also here on the four day Bitcoin chart. But once again, as I've been saying since the beginning of this year, despite short term bearish trends, 
trend, we're technically still within a much larger bullish trend here on the much larger timeframes until it's actually invalidated, which as of right now has not yet happened. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of ETH is still running into this important area of support sitting in between around 1650 to 1.7K, as I've been talking about recently on the channel. And so due to the fact that the price is running into important support, and also the fact that the RSI is extremely oversold, right now in the imminent short term, just talking about the coming days, we're essentially taking a bit of a pause from this short term bearish trend. Because once again, as of right now, the RSI and the price action are still trending to the downside, forming lower highs and lower lows on the slightly smaller timeframes in the somewhat shorter term here, which once again is technically a short term bearish trend. And also if you're looking at the MACD on the daily timeframe, this is still showing bearish momentum. And so overall, once again, in the shorter term, we're still trending bearish, technically speaking, just in the imminent short term, we're taking a bit of a pause from that short term bearish trend. And in fact, if you're looking at some other times where the daily Ethereum RSI has entered into oversold territories or has gotten very close to oversold territories over the last one year or so, what we can see is usually that happens right around some sort of local low in the price of ETH just before we see either some choppy sideways price action, if not a slight bullish relief. And once again, this is simply because the RSI is oversold. It is overextended to the downside, meaning the price has gone too far to the downside too quickly just in the short term. And essentially, we need some time to reset the RSI back to the upside, which usually plays out in the form of either choppy sideways price action, if not a slight bullish relief, considering neutral price action and bullish price action can help to reset the RSI back to the upside. But with that being said, this alone is not necessarily enough to guarantee that the short term trend is over and we're about to reverse back into another short term bullish trend. Because of course, it remains a possibility that essentially we could see a pause from this short term bearish trend, possibly over the next one to two weeks, for example, and to then potentially continue the bearish trend later on once the RSI has reset and given us some more room to the downside later on. And in that scenario, if we actually end up breaking below around 1650, which is the bottom end of this major support, then in that case, looking at the Fibonacci levels, the next important support is still sitting just above 1.5k, closer towards 1510 to 1520. And in a more bearish scenario, if the price actually broke below 1.5k, then we have the important golden pocket sitting in between around 1360 to 1.4k. But even if the price actually makes a new lower low, perhaps in a week or two from now, of course, once again, that is a possibility. But even in that case, if we do actually make a new lower low, it's possible we could form a bullish divergence on the daily time frame because it's actually extremely unlikely that the RSI on the daily chart will form a new lower low, even if the price forms a new lower low, considering how extremely oversold the RSI is right now. But either way, if you want to know how to make a lot of money in crypto, no matter if the price is trending bearish, bullish, or simply chopping around sideways in the short term, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is trending bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.